Hey there, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and I had so much fun coloring Santa last week that I decided to do again with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, my absolute favorite Christmas special of all time. So when I found out that there was this stamp set available from Elaine over at Max and Shoji, that's her YouTube channel, she did a project with this set, I had to go get it and use it. And I will also be using that five-part pine die set from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And then I have stamped Rudolph and the snowman guy. Although the snowman guy, I wind up not using in the end, but you'll see why. I wind up using Hermie instead, but we will, we will get to that later. <laughs> so I will be coloring with Spectrum Noir markers. And if you've watched any of my coloring videos, you know that kind of my technique is I tend to lay down a base color in the lightest shade that I'm using, and then go back in with two additional shadowy like deeper colors. So I started out with TN2 and then I'm adding TN7 on top and it looks like a crazy mess but my idea here was to basically kind of combine these two tones together to get sort of a medium brown shade. Unlike my reindeer from last week's project I didn't really want a whole lot of texture on Rudolph you know because in the special they're sort of, the, the characters are kind of fuzzy, but they're not really furry. So I was kind of just going for like a kind of a fuzzy look. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm kind of adding in like TN7 to kind of fill in any splotchy parts here and then blending it back out with the TN2. And I'm going to do that for his entire body to get this sort of quasi solid medium brown shade over his entire body. And then I'll go back in and add some shadows in with TN8 coming up here in a minute. But that's kind of was my thinking on this whole thing was that I didn't want too much texture in any of these guys just because I was going for like sort of that TV show look, the, spe the way they look on the special. So I kind of wanted them fairly smooth. So here I'm adding in some shadows with TN8 um, under his, along his legs, under his chin and that kind of thing. And you'll see that I'm going to try to blend this out with TN2, but that's a little bit too light. So I go back because you see like it's TN2 and TN8 are too far apart. So I really need that medium tone of TN7 kind of in here. And then I can blend that out with the TN2. Don't ask me why seven is okay. And eight is, seems like it's too dark, but it just seven adds that kind of middle tone that helps smooth out TN8 with TN2. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm just basically smoothing out the shadows here to get kind of a smooth, smooth-ish blend along him. And that's pretty much it for his coloring other than his nose, which is DR5. I do add a little bit of FS3 um, for some shadows on his white fur parts that you might notice later. And here you can see I've colored in the snowman, but I'm not gonna use him. So just ignore him. <laughs> and then I'm using my glaze pen to add um, some glaze to his, to Rudolph's horns, his eyeball, and his hooves. Because they get a little bit lost and I kind of wanted that, they have that kind of plasticky look that the characters in this TV special have. So I like that glaze plasticky kind of effect that the glaze pen gives. And then I added some Tonic Nouveau glitter drops in Ruby Slippers, which is one of my favorites, to his nose because it's so glittery and cool and really red. So I had to have that glittery nose. Now for my Christmas tree, I used the, as I mentioned earlier, the Elizabeth Craft Designs five part pine die. And so it creates these five pieces of pine tree and you just kind of adhere them together to create sort of a, a dimensional pine tree. And I just use my ATG gun uh, to kind of stick them all together and you just stack them one on top of each other, another, like from largest to smallest, until you get the entire pine tree together. And it's a really fun, really cute tree. It's like pretty dimensional, but yet kind of, I don't know, like cartoonish sort of. So I, th I mean, not really, but it's a little bit cartoony. So I thought it went well with the cartoony feel of the stamp set. And now I am wrapping it with some Tim Holtz tinsel twine, which is just the coolest stuff ever to, to put tinsel on the tree. And I also thought it was a little cartoony looking, so I thought it went well with that. And I'm just sticking it down to the back with um, scotch tape. And because the tinsel twine is so 
dimensional. I do wind up putting foam tape on the back of this tree later to kind of even it all out. And now I'm just adding in some gold and red sequins and then I've got a star button on the top to decorate up my tree and give it that like, you know, Rudolph look from the cartoon. <laughs> so I do wind up uh, gluing all these down with Ranger Multimedia Matte Adhesive and I do top off those little sequins with some more Tonic Nouveau drops just to glitter them up. And now the tree was a little bit short without the trunk so I added a trunk on but then you can see the snowman's a little bit too big so that's why I decided to go to Hermie who was tall who was smaller the snowman was almost like the same size as the tree so he just seemed way too out of scale so that's why I went to Hermie and plus I love Hermie anyway Hermie and Rudolph are my favorites you know so it made sense anyway <laughs> and so I'm just going to color him in really quickly as well He's a little bit uh, more difficult than Rudolph because he has, you know, clothes and stuff. So he will take a little bit longer, but it's not too bad. So for his skin, I'm using FS3 and then I add some shadows in with TN2 and then I'm going to blend that out with the FS3. And of course, if you recall from the special, he has super, super pink cheeks. So I had to give him like majorly pink cheeks, which you'll see in the end. Now I'm uh, highlighting his eyeballs with my glaze pen and now I'm going to do his tunic which is blue and my lightest color that I'm starting out with is TB3 so I'm going to base coat his whole tunic with that color and then I'm going to come back in with TB5 and add some shadows in and then I will darken those shadows further with TB6 and then I'm going to blend all of that back out with the TB3 and you'll see that it kind of it creates a pretty smooth blend overall and with like you know some subtle shading which is really nice and goes you know kind of works with the cartoony look so you can see it there and then if you recall from the special hopefully everybody's seen the special but he has really really crazy bright yellow hair <laughs> so i used ct3 and then added some shadows with gb8 and then i put a little bit of blended that out with ct2 to kind of keep it that kooky yellow which is it's a really artificial yellow but you know it's still super cute <laughs> and now i'm just doing his hat the same way i did the tunic and now i'm just he's got a red band on his uh hat and his and then he's got red tights so i started out with cr10 on the tights and then add in shading with dr5 and dr7 and then i'm blending that back out with the cr10 and his little feather is also red too. I had to look up online to see what color his feather was because I wasn't really sure. And it looked like in the photos it was red, so I added red. Now I'm gonna color in his hands and his neck because I had forgotten those with again the FS3 and the TN2. And then I'm going to color his book in green. Now I couldn't find any pictures online of what the book looked like, but I seem to recall that he might look at a book earlier early in the show that's green so I colored it green I wasn't totally sure but hopefully that's okay and I added a little bit of shading on his cuffs which are white with some IG2 and blended that out with IG1 and then added a little bit of shading on the book with IG2 I colored his belt buckle with my uh, jelly roll stardust or clear in clear pen and then I'm highlighting his boots with the glaze pen again so now here's all of my components ready to go and to be assembled. And you can see I've done a little bit of work ahead of time here just to save us some time because the coloring takes a while. So my tree is done and I've added a white snowbank to the bottom. And the greeting is coming from this Elizabeth Craft Designs holiday clear stamp set. And I trimmed off uh, the Merry Christmas just from the middle of that stamp and, and matted it with some black. And then this plaid paper is from Cartabella's six by six paper pad called Christmas delivery. It is the cutest paper pad. Like every paper in that is amazing. So if you need a Christmas paper pad, I say go for that. Now I created this little snow landscape. I just cut it out freehand out of white cardstock. And then I added in extra snow banks and some with IG two and IG four. And then I sparkled the heck out of it with my Spectrum Noir sparkle marker. I don't know if you can really see it there, but it is, it's super sparkly. And then I added in those extra little trees with the tree stamp from the Rudolph stamp set. And I colored those with like DG3 and JG6 just to kind of um, give them some a little bit of dimension. And then I added the 
jelly roll pen onto the snowbanks on that. And then for a little bit of detail, I, I made some faux stitching all the way around, around the edge of that landscape scene with my black um, stamp and write marker because it just felt like it needed something. So I liked adding that little bit of stitching. It just sort of somehow pulled it all together. I think with the black and red plaid, I needed a little bit of black extras here and there. So I'm just adhering everything together. And the most important part here that I wanted you to see is that I added some uh, shadows to the to Rudolph's hooves and Hermes feet so that they wouldn't be just floating on the white. I wanted them to, you know, look like they were grounded on the snow. So I did that with IG2 and IG4. And then I just, um, I like wrote it with a, with a very lightly with a pencil marker. And then I just went over with IG2 and IG4. And then I'm gluing down uh, Rudolph with a glue pen. And so I'm going to figure out where Hermes shadows go, need to go. And again, I'm just adding those in with IG2 and IG4 and then blending it back out a little bit with IG2. And then I just glue him down with the glue pen as well. But that little extra shadow under their feet really makes a big difference. It really makes them look like they're actually standing in the scene as opposed to look like kind of strangely floating. And here's the foam tape you can see on the back of my tree. So the tree is very, very dimensional between the tinsel and the foam tape and the button and the sequence. It is super dimensional and, and I think super cute. So I've teared everything down and now I just decided to add uh, stitches to the front of that piece of snow I had on the tree. I wasn't sure if I wanted it, but I decided I did. So I added it in there and that is the completed project. And I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's super cute. There's a good look at Rudolph as well as the tree. There's a close up. Well, you can kind of see all the dimension on the tree and how like crazy like there's just stuff all over it and then there's a good look at Hermie and how cute he is and I hope I captured the feeling of the tv special I tried to I think it turned out really cute and so if you are a Rudolph fan I highly encourage you to search out that stamp set and get it there is a supply list link below in the video description as well as on my blog and if you like the video I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and hey even better if you subscribe to my channel I've added a couple of videos here that are other additional Spectrum Noir coloring videos I have done. Uh, the first one is the Santa card I did last week. And then the second one is an additional Christmas card that I've also done with Spectrum Noir coloring as well as some distress inks. Have a great day.